What is up everybody, Tech Checker here, and welcome to episode 20 of This Week in Dioramas. Now, if you are not familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas, and I showcase them right here on the show. Now, if you would like an opportunity to be showcased in a future episode, all you need to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas, and that will give me the best chance of finding your pictures. Make sure you go check out my Amazon store at amazon.com slash shop slash techchucker. Anything that you buy, whether it's from one of my curated lists, or if you just happen to go searching while you're on my storefront, go search for whatever you're looking for, be it action figures or household products, whatever it is, it will count for my store and I'll get a very small commission. And I really appreciate all of the support that people have given me so far and in the future. So go check it out. Amazon Amazon.com slash shop slash tech chucker. We've got a great show lined up for you today, but before we can get started, we need to reveal the winner of last week's fan vote. And if you don't recall who we were voting for, it was the Darth Sidious Throne by Papa Palpatine Photography, the Parking Garage and Props by Mafioso619 and Lucas Tattoos, the Star Wars Diorama by Zero G1 Customs, the Siberia by Makiogia, and the Halloween Village by Oak Hill Studios. All were super amazing, but there could only be one winner, and the winner is the Darth Sidious Throne by Papa Palpatine Photography. Make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end where you will find out who my top five of the week are, and you'll get your chance to vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel. Make sure you go check out the Diorama Creators Instagram for their November competition. It is a nuclear fallout competition. You've got until December 1st, I believe, to get either a diorama created or a vehicle created of some sort that is in the theme of nuclear fallout. So check out their Instagram for all of the rules that you need to follow. And when you need to get everything in, first place gets a $50 Amazon gift card, which is pretty darn awesome for either the diorama entry and or the vehicle entry. So go check out their Instagram and check out all of the rules and get building. All right, let's get this show going. Starting off with Kevin Kanth and this display I am really impressed with. This is uh, Matchbox size. I believe that's what, 164th scale. But take a look at this uh, highway tunnel that he's got here. The graffiti on here is absolutely amazing. I just love the way that this looks. Uh, it just looks so realistic. The pictures look amazing, but just take a look at this work. This tunnel looks so good, and at such a scale, this is just crazy detailed. I absolutely love it. The paintwork detail on this, so good. So make sure that you go check out Kevin Kanth. Uh, it's just some really cool work. Check out this next piece coming from the Chris Lyons. Paintwork on here is super cool. I really like the way that uh, this kind of disheveled, downtrodden, downtrodden? I don't know, let's go with that word. How this is turning out, it looks really nice. Very muted colors, but then you've got this kind of bright orange barrel, really contrasting the rest of uh, the look here. I like the damage sign, how it's bent and whatnot. So just a really fun piece. I like the paint detail, the subtleness of your uh, little bit of uh, orangish, I don't know if it's dry brushing or, or if that's a wash that you did, but it really looks nice, the weathering on here. Uh, your metal girders, look at that. That looks really nice. So awesome job to Chris Lyons. Uh, if you're not following him, you probably should be doing that because he does a lot of really good work. Next up is a Halloween piece coming from, oh geez, how am I gonna say this? Lucretia Simmons, Lucretia, Luc I don't know, I hope I said it remotely close to correct, but this is a Freddy basement uh, display piece. I really like this, it looks so good. The paintwork, sculpt work on here looks really nice. These walls look really thin. Uh, I'm wondering if you use that uh, poster board stuff that you can get at Walmart or the uh, uh, dollar store or whatever, but this furnace looks really good. Love the little fire that you've got in there. So many cool little details, the table, all of it looks awesome. 
awesome paintwork, everything. So awesome job to uh, Lucretia Simmons. Next up is a pretty cool exam room from Kraken's Customs. I, I think this is pretty cool, the way that you did this. Uh, and there's a picture near the end where it shows the uh, source material that you use to recreate this exam room. I really like this uh, x-ray piece and there's a couple of videos in here that we'll go ahead and play. But I think this is a really nice, unique, very different piece. Let's go ahead and play that video. This thing, it moves and it telescopes, which I believe, I believe this thing telescopes. It looks like you just use PVC. PVC. Uh, just a cool idea. I like it. Here, this, uh, I don't even know what this thing is, but, um, so it's not sculpted in, but these lines very cleanly done. And I think it looks really cool. I, I'm i pretty darn impressed with this. So awesome job. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is doing, but uh, let's take a look. Here is the source. This is the actual room, uh, exam room, and here is uh, Kraken's room. I think you did a great job on this. Up next, coming from Rhino Dioramas. Check them out, rhinodioramas.com. They do lots of 3D printing uh, items. They've got some new items uh, because he, I believe, just got a new 3D printer, so he's able to get even more more detail out of that machine, which is pretty sweet. But this little diorama piece looking very, very nice. I like the paintwork, uh, lots of nice detail. I love this little uh, fog effect with the uh, poly stuff that uh, you've got in there, that little trash bin with the weathering, very nice paint. Uh, he does really good paint work, and so you should definitely go check him out. I know one of the pieces that he is selling are these uh, security cameras. 3D printed. Uh, I assume if you hit them up, you can either maybe get them painted or unpainted. Uh, double check with them. DM them if you have questions. But yeah, this is a really nice display piece. I like the paint. Just you know, a really solid piece. I love, I love all the details. And I'm so jealous of all of you guys that have 3D printers so that you can make these cool little pieces that look so crisp and clean. So make sure you're checking them out. Here is a quick example of some of the pieces that he's got. He's got those wall builders. Uh, you can get fire hydrants. Uh, he's got a new skull piece that he showed me and it's just so amazing. So go check them out if you need some 3D printed stuff. Next up is this piece coming from Clanabel. This little uh, stairway piece really looks good. Uh, let's see, almost three years, Dark Knight Dio. Did you make this three years ago or did you start it three years ago? Both are very realistic questions when it comes to my projects. So, but I think that you did a great job with this. It's the paintwork, the sculpt work, or I guess the, the detail on here looks really nice. I love these little girder type things with the chains and that little light up at the top. This is really nice. It turned out, yeah, really good. So awesome job. I love the detail. Here's some work in progress that you can see. Very cool. Next up is a really cool arcade piece from Star Marvel 7-6. I'm really impressed with this. I think you did a great job with it. I'm assuming this is 1 12th scale, not certain. Uh, let's see, finishing touches from a year ago. I really like this. I think you did a nice job. I love when people put in ceilings and then they have a little light effect. That always adds to it, makes it really nice. The sign with the Aladdin's castle, very fun. Uh, I assume these, uh, little arcades you found. Um, there's so many of those little miniature arcades all over the place now that you can get, but they really add to it. But I really like the way that you've got this exterior piece and then you've got the interior. This all, this just really pops. And then you've got a little bit of brick in the floor right there, which that's a nice touch. I think this is just an awesome piece. I think you did a great job with it. Uh, there's some lights and whatnot on here. Let's go ahead and play this video. You've got electric lights for all of this thing. This is on the back, I believe. So what are all these lights doing? He's gonna show us. Oh, it's for the ceiling. Okay, duh. So that gives it the ambiance. That's cool. That is super fun. I love it when you guys add these lights. This is a great display. Let's see, there's a few more pictures, some work in progress pics to see how we built this. Yeah, this is really cool, awesome job. Next is this piece coming from Stan Volsky. 
does some really nice work and this one is really cool. DM them if you are interested, it is for sale. I have no guarantees that it's not already sold. Hopefully it's, well, hopefully for his sake, it is sold. Hopefully for your sake, it is not, but this is a great piece. I love the detail work, the subtleness of the different paint uh, is just so nice. And then you've got the damage up here at the top. There's another picture coming. Yeah, there you can see even more of this. Just, it's a really cool piece. It's very artistic in style. I love the little rivets that you got here and the paint detail, the weathering looks really good. So awesome job with this. This is what, 1 18th, in, 1 18th scale for those acid rain figures. I would love to get some of those. They're really articulated, very fun. But look at this, it's reversible. So you got a concrete wall, but the paint, that subtleness of that little weathering really goes a long way. So awesome job. This is a great submission. Uh, just, yeah, a really solid piece. Next up is a pretty epic piece coming from Creation B. This is awesome. I love this piece. It is so epic. There's multiple buildings put together and different props and what have you. This is cool. I would love to have a, sh a piece like this. This is great for ACBA. Uh, you could even add more over time to make an even bigger cityscape. This is cool. I love it. This is the kind of stuff that gets me excited about dioramas when people are making full, you know, end to end pieces for photography. It's just cool. The sculpt looks nice. The uh, paintwork looks really good. I love this. This brickwork, the paintwork looks so good. So awesome job to Creation B. This is just one of those solid pieces that, um, yeah, it's just really fun. Next up is another one of those just absolutely amazing pieces. This is coming from Styro Smith Dio Arts. It's a Batman versus Superman rooftop diorama. And I, I don't know what it is, but this broken glass I don't know if you're adding paint to get this little bit of extra. It's almost like a cartoon comic look where your cracks, it's, is that painted on? Or I don't know, just let me know because the paintwork that you do is so different from the style that I see from everybody else. And I absolutely love it. It really adds so much extra contrast that uh, it just makes everything pop. All your edges pop. And especially this broken glass. I'm just absolutely amazed by it. I love this little smattering of uh, wanted posters. And the style where you have your bricks very, very like indented in way more than most people would have really makes this thing stand out. It's just, I don't know, it's just so cool. I love that style. The damage you've got on there, very cool. So this is just an awesome piece. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. You can even see the floor down underneath. Awesome effect. And then we already saw this, the bat, sig sig ugh, the bat signal. This is awesome. You've got some more pictures uh, elsewhere in your, maybe it's in here, um, but that bat signal, he's got a picture on his profile, go check it out, where it actually does give the bat signal on the wall when it, when it displays, so that is super cool, but just look at all the detail here. This is so cool, oh my gosh. And then it's fully modular, comes apart, there's that floor that you were seeing uh, through the, the, the window. Look at that. That is absolutely cool. It's just amazing. This guy does such, such cool work. Next up is coming from Johnny Simpleton of Norway. His work, so amazing, so realistic. This looks like it would just be a picture of a regular old shack out in the middle of nowhere, but it is actually a diorama and it is looking so good. The detail level of, I mean, just holy crap. Paint work. Amazing, very stylized pictures, but it really works for this. I love it. So I'll go check out Johnny Simpleton. He does, again, like I said, amazing, very realistic work, and I'm always impressed with what he comes up with. Here is a absolutely amazing piece coming from David Miniatures. We've displayed a couple of his uh, pieces in the past. This is a Back to the Future display, and you can see the DeLorean right there with the, uh, if you recall the scene with the tunnel and down here is the truck with the manure and this is amazing. You've got the little strand of, uh, 
those triangle things and Marty McFly is hanging on there getting pulled out and this car with Biff right into the poo that is awesome I love it I believe this is uh, uh, what is it 164th scale so awesome job I absolutely love his work so go check him out if you aren't already following him here is a pretty sweet looking piece from what the hell go check him out if you're not already following him this is a new york city uh hardware store and i think he just did a amazing job on this thing just the detail work i've been watching uh his his uh account as he posts some of the pictures of this this uh, actual gate i believe is functional just an all-around amazing piece I love it you should be following him because he does just absolutely amazing work next up is a really solid piece coming from plastic goodies and I'm very impressed with the paintwork on this especially the lava that's coming out of those skulls I think that just man it really pops it it looks like it's actually glowing and I think a huge reason why it looks like it's glowing is you added uh, some dry brush I'm assuming that's dry brush and maybe not a wash either way you added a little bit of orange to give it that look of a glow and it's doing it down on the bottom as well and I don't know if that is actual reflection or if that is all added paint that you threw in there but whatever it is it is really working and making it look like this paint uh, is really glowing and that it's actual lava that is amazing. I love the rest of this as well. It's sculpted very nicely. The the, the blocks look great. The paintwork with the different uh, accents of color, very, very nicely done. Uh, so go check them out, Plastic Goodies. They do a lot of really cool work. This next one is coming from 1 to 10 World. Always does amazing work. He does lots with RC cars, and then he does kind of these very realistic looking displays out in the world so this is I assume real water on a little I don't know a pond or puddle or something like that and he takes these shots that just look so realistic using natural pieces and then he adds in like this uh, little uh, raft that I assume he made and one ton scale Landy D90 I assume that's this thing it's just so amazing and the props that you use everything put together makes it look so realistic so if you're not following one to ten world you absolutely should he does such amazing work so many pictures uh, it's just so fun to look at here's a unique display coming from time capsule scratch builders and I really like it these uh, framed pieces that he does and if you look close I uh, immediately my first thought was Narnia and that's exactly what it is. It's the Lion, the Lit Witch, and the Wardrobe. And this is the Wardrobe, which is really cool. Let's take a closer look. A little bit more light that you can see the actual Wardrobe here. And I'm not sure if that is the trees with the snow. If you recall the story, the kids find this Wardrobe. They go in it, and then they go to Narnia. And it's just such a great piece to have um, memorializing such a... Uh, amazing stories and I think this is the source is this the source material or is this still a picture of the dial either way I think it I think it's the dial great picture because it looks real next up is this Iron Man uh, Hall of Armor display piece from Iron Geek 37 it's a one quarter scale dang that's huge one quarter scale Wow uh, but this piece for it's a hot toys Iron Man is it really one quarter I know hot toys does some is that really you've got a one quarter scale jeez is that a statue or okay anyway stay on stay on task this is a nice piece and I love the lights that you've got in here and he's got a work in progress pick to show a little bit of the process of how we built it so he started with this wooden frame and then I, I'm not sure if these are um, foam or wood or what this is but essentially he's cut out all of these and he's got some of them raised to give that a uh, little bit of depth and angle and yeah just a really cool piece and just take a look at that that is really nice so awesome job to Iron Geek 37 next is coming from Dope Toys NY this is a Punisher uh, I don't know what we call it so he's got the war wagon 
Really nice display. I like the paintwork. I like the sculpt. The paint on this concrete looks really good. I love the cracks that you got in there. And we'll take a few more closer shots here. You got the, oh cool, the van actually has light up tail lights. That's awesome. I need to get something like that. I don't have room for it, but I'd love to have something like that. You've got the acetylene tanks and uh, oxygen tanks so that he can use his blowtorch for, you know, constructing more stuff for whatever he's going to be doing. But this is a great display piece. So go check out Dope Toys NY. He does a lot of really cool displays as well. And uh, this is another one of those really fun pieces. Next is this one coming from Laz Dioramas and Collectibles. And this is kind of a loading dock back alley sort of display. Uh, work in progress, day four. Man, I wish I had this much progress after day four. Looking really good. I like the paintwork, I like the sculpt. It's a nice, clean display. This is looking really good. Scaled very nicely. You got some of the, uh, some of these, uh, shield soldiers here nice light right up there that looks cool so awesome job especially for only four days wait a second did we oh, okay so essentially because of the magnetized stuff you can move which wall is going to be where that's cool it gives you more options for photos or for uh, whatever you want that's cool i didn't even notice that so the garage door okay it's not that you're moving the walls you're just putting the garage door either over this or over this. It covers those. That is cool. I didn't notice that until just now. I'm glad I noticed it. That's awesome. Great idea. Very creative. Next up is an absolutely amazing piece from C Goosey that he tagged with the hashtag. And this is amazing. This is, okay, so he made it about five years ago. Hasn't been shared with us uh, on the show yet, but this is so epic. I absolutely love this thing. It is so cool. Let's go through a few of these pictures. There's so many details. Wow. And look at that holy crap there's so much in here uh if you're not following sea goosey you need to do that because this thing has so much he does such great work wow wow this is absolutely amazing if you are a star wars fan you are jealous of this even if you're not you should be jealous start being jealous because this is amazing Next up is a display that I really thought was very fun. This is from R2 Dio. It's a little graveyard that I think turned out very, very nice. I like the sculpt work on the, the uh, headstones that you've got here. It's very kind of old and grimy looking, very much uh, Halloween style. I like the little light that you're, uh, the effect that you've got with the green. I'm assuming that's just a different light, but you do have paint uh, green on these different pieces. So maybe this is paint. I don't know. Let's see. I think there's a wider shot. But I, I just really like this. I think it's a nice, solid piece. It would be great for a lot of uh, different Halloween shots that you could take. So awesome job on this, really fun. This next one coming from Bambino Dioramas. Awesome job on this. I think he even dedicated the green, the color green to me, I think. Might be on this post. Yeah, here it is. The green dedicated to my friend Tech Chucker. Yes, uh, if you've been watching my show for any amount of time, every time Mr. Bambino posts something up, I always talk about the green that he uh, uses. And it is such, I, I don't know what it is. I love the green. And I'm going to say it again. I love the green. Uh, so yeah, this is just a great piece though. I love the way that this looks. The sculpt with these little like, uh, they look like tusks sticking out. It's just a fun piece. And I think he does such amazing work. And again, I love the green. And these little roots all strewn around here. The, I can always tell his style uh, or his dios because of the style that he uses. Very unique, very fun, and this is a, is this the uh, the Mondo? Yeah, it's a 1-6 scale Mondo He-Man figure. This is a great piece for this piece, for this figure to uh, be displayed with. It's just, yeah, awesome job. This next one is a Star Wars display piece, but it could be used for pretty much anything. It is from Zack, uh, Zack's, uh, 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 Zacky Toys maybe um so he's got his jawas and a couple of droids on here in this uh, kind of stylized black and white but here is the actual display piece 
and I like this. I like it a lot. It's uh, the paint apps are what I really am liking a lot. Now, I don't think he used um, the actual like textured grass. I think this is painted on and I think it really works. It's a very different style than what we typically see from some of these uh, uh, just flat displays but I like it. I think it really works very well for a display. Um, and especially the paint, the, the paint detail that he's got on these edges, it really is working. Uh, so awesome job. I think it's a fun piece. Go check out, uh, Zach's, uh, Zachy toys, Zach's, uh, go check him out. <laughs> Next up is this display coming from EMT Diorama out of Germany. We've got the Juggernaut and the Hulk about to do battle. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comments who's going to win this battle. Does the Juggy, does the Juggernaut win or does the Hulk win? I have a feeling Hulk has to win this, but I love this diorama. It's very cool. I like the uh, sculpt that you've got on here. The paintwork on here is looking really good. The fence. All of it is looking cool, especially with the hole in the wall. Uh, I just think it's a solid piece, great for taking pictures. Uh, yeah, there's, it's just, it's just a fun piece. So let me know in the comments who's gonna win that fight because I want to know. All right, so this next one I really wanted to show because I just thought it was a great picture. This is coming from Mighty Kane. It's an alien with uh, Ripley. Uh, display. I think it's a really cool dio. Uh, you know, I don't know anything about it beyond this. One picture, really cool looking picture though, and so I wanted to showcase it because I thought it was so cool. And next up is this one also that I really wanted to showcase because it's so cool, is from Omega Terrain, and this is a really cool piece, uh, and I especially love this picture. It's a temple entrance made mostly of foam, some wood filler, etc. I just think that the detail work on here, the paint work, so very good. I think they did a great job, so awesome. I, I mean, I believe this is, yeah, Warhammer size, so that's pretty small. Next up is this display coming from the Dio Smith, and this thing is pretty huge. It's, uh, what is it? It's 112 scale, 23 and a half inches across, 17 inches tall, 15 inches deep. I, this is cool. There's a lot to this, a lot of detail with the sculpt work, very clean sculpt. You cut these uh, bricks or these blocks so cleanly really nice paintwork let's cycle through these pictures if there are yeah there's several in here I think this is great you see that these uh, columns will actually come off so you can either have them in or not have them in you can have the wall there in the little uh, doorway or not let's see do you have anything filling those window holes oh, okay those were sides so let's I'm cycling through these sorry uh, yeah, look at that. You did a great job with the uh, the brick going around those windows. That looks really nice. I love that paint app. That looks really good. So awesome job on this display piece. See how big this thing is? This is a really cool piece. Wow. Dang, it just keeps, go holy crap, it just keeps going. So you can pull those out and make this a full, wow. That is pretty darn amazing. All of it comes apart. Holy crap, so it's a commission. Obviously, someone else is getting this. They're gonna be super happy with it. Awesome job. Next up is this piece. It is pretty amazing from Chad Chilla. I love Mortal Kombat and this display it looks so cool. I love the purple stones. It, that really stands out and looks super cool. I think you did a great job with this, especially the uh, 3D printed um, Mortal Kombat logo. Uh, you did that on one of your other pieces and it turned out really good. It turned out awesome here as well. I love all of the cracks that you've got with those stones and then the little bits of grass that you've got strewn throughout here. Those uh, chains with the little head sculpt, or uh, uh, what do we call them, skulls on the pegs. <laughs> that looks cool as well. I, this is a great piece. It fits in a detolf. Amazing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't point out there's a light effect under that. That is cool. Just, wow, what a great piece. I love this piece. This is so cool. I wonder if you're keeping this or if you're going to sell it. Um, if you guys love this piece, which I do, uh, even if he's not selling it, hit him up on the DMs. Maybe for the right price, he'll make he'll make another one for you. I don't know. I, I could be speaking out of turn. Forgive me. <laughs> 
Next up is this diorama coming from Tom's Dioramas, and I really dig this. I think you did great with your bricks. The paintwork looks awesome. I love this little sign. All of it looks great. The water, really murky looking, kind of nasty, and you've got it looking like it's actually kind of moving. That is awesome. Let's cycle through. This is the shot that I really love, though. I love this shot of Raph just kind of looking down, thinking, and then the little bit of kind of bokeh that you've got where it's not focused in the background. That is awesome. Lighting looks amazing. So, but I mean, I know that this isn't a photography channel, but some of you guys take some really good shots and I want to point that out. Loving this door, the signage with the wear uh, or the weathering on that. Looking great. So awesome little diorama there. Next up is this piece coming from Figures and Photography. Again, another one of those pieces that looks so good with the different paint apps that you've got on here. Lots of detail, loving all, I love that, where you've got the wood poking through, um, the blinds. I've been seeing a lot more uh, dioramas with these blinds. I don't know if that's some sort of, uh, did somebody do a video or something and everybody's learning how to do it or is it just everybody's doing it right now? I, I don't know. Loving the cracks. The it, It's, wow, you guys are doing such great work. I love that, like, dark gray in the, in the cracks there. Man, this looks so good. I love this piece. So awesome job to figures in photography. Keep them coming. You know what, that door? That looks like one of those uh, hollow core doors. Really good job. Next is a pretty epic sized piece from High School Creations. Really look, digging the uh, street that you've got here. The paintwork on here looks really nice. It's very dirty and dingy looking, but I really dig it, especially with the little crosswalk there, and then your sidewalk is looking uh, nice and, and old and, and beat up as though this was an old neighborhood. And then the building that you've got here, uh, essentially it's a four wall type of building. I love it. It looks great. I Let's see if there's any closer shots here. This is looking really good. I love the little signage that you've got on the windows. Lots of great detail on here. Oh, look at that. It is. It does have an interior as well. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is, I hope the rent is low on this. Rent better be way low on this because this is nasty looking. Next is this little wooden uh, cart from Modelismo Fantasy. And I wanted to showcase this little prop because of the paint detail. It is so realistic looking. It, it just blew me away. Even like this strap here, you've got a little bit of uh, rust like feathering paint around it you know, which would actually happen in real life. Some of that rust is gonna kinda run off onto the wood and stain it. Your paintwork, so good, and look at that. You actually wore the wood out to look like it's, you know, maybe 50 to 100 years old. This is awesome, this is great work. Amazing attention to detail on this. And then last but not least is, again, coming from Rhino Dioramas, I wanted to showcase this one cause turtles. April O'Neil, this little television piece looks so cool. I love it. It is great. 112 scale. I, wow, this is so fun. I love it. It's so cool. Make sure you check out Rhino Dioramas. If you are looking for some 3D printed stuff, hit them up on the DMs. Go check them out at rhinodioramas.com. I want to thank everybody who participated this week submitting dioramas. It was really tough to go through and pick out who to showcase. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, but we're not quite done yet. We need to reveal my top five of the week, and you can vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel right after the show. And we are voting for, in my top five, the Aladdin's Castle Arcade by Star Marvel 76 the Highway Tunnel by Kevin Kanth, the Batman vs. Superman Rooftop by Styro Smith Dial Arts, The Star Wars Display by C. Goosey, and The Alleyway by Creation B. Make sure you go to the community tab on my channel after this show and vote. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of This Week in Dioramas. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you find out about the next episode. Go out and share this video. Let's grow this show as much as we possibly can. And even more importantly, 
go upload your diorama projects and tag them with the This Week in Dioramas hashtag so I can find them. And I will see you next week. 